welcome to my channel today we are going to going we are going to learn how to make a circle skirt with ruffle for kids so i'm going to use this fabric to make this uh, ruffle skirt and the measurement i'm going to use to make this ruffle skirt is uh, 25.5 inches then we we'll use the ruler for calculating the circumference of a circle that is round your waist so we divide it by 6.28 which is 4 inches so I'm going to use 4 inches to cut this but before we cut it this is the fabric the measurement of this fabric is I'm using Thirty-eight, thirty-eight by thirty-eight inches. Thirty-eight by thirty-eight inches. I'm using. So I'm going to fold this fabric into four. Fold into two, and fold it again. That is into four pieces. So as you can see, I folded this into four. You see it? One, two, three, four. So at the edge here, this close part, we are going to take the measurement from here. So. For the waist measurement, we calculated 4 inches. So we're going to place the tape measurement here at the edge. Then we'll mark 4 inches. We'll mark it round. So we've marked the 4 inches now. So from this line here, I'm going to take my my length. I'm going to measure the length from this place. So the length I'm going to use is 13 and half inches. Plus half an inch allowance, that is 14 inches I'm going to use. So you put your tape and trace 14 inches from this line. I'm going to do I'm going to mark out where I'm going to put the ruffles and I'm going to use um, three inches to mark out three inches placing the the um, tape measure from the beginning here then I mark uh, three inches round So I'm going to keep marking three inches. Mm -hmm. 
put uh, my ruffles so after making it I'm going to use this tracer fabric tracer to trace it around so that when I turn it I'll see where to mark the other one tracing it I have to turn it out then I'll follow the line where I trace to mark even if you don't have you can still use if you don't have this tracer you can still use your tape measurement to still trace it around to measure it The, this is where I'm going to put the ruffles around. So I keep this. I'm going to get the fabric I'm going to use to do the ruffle. Already cut some of the fabric out. So I use them. Um, As line here, I marked three inches, but on the fabric that I cut out, it's going to be four and a half inches. So I've cut four and a half inches, and this. This will be my first one, which is how many? This is about 60 something inches, more than 60 inches. I'm going to use to do the first ruffle. So I'm going, I'll go to my machine and do the ruffle. Now I've done the ruffles. This is the ruffles. I already stitched, stitched the down side. Already hemmed it. So I have hemmed it here. So I'm going to be placing it round on the line I marked. Place it around and I'm going to attach it round. I don't need to use pin to hold it because I already marked it. So the mark place I'm going to put all this. Place it round. This is how it's going to be. Then this. So this is how I'm going to put them. Then I'm going to stitch them round on the on the fabric. So I folded this one into two. So I'm going to stitch it round. So as you can see, I've already done the stitching round. I've stitched it round. You can see on here the way I stitched. It. 
so the next step is to we're going to put a band a one inch band because it's going to have a elastic on the band I'm going to cut uh, the band now I'm going to use this to cut the band so I'll measure here I'm going to measure 30 inches this is 30 inches I'll mark out 30 inches and I'm going to measure four and a half. I'll fold it into two up to this 30 inches. So I'm going to measure four and a half an inch because we are folding it into two. band when you fold it into two it's two two and a quarter so I'm going to use quarter of an inch join it then I'll use a one inch elastic for it so this is the skirt this the band so what I'm going to do I'm going to join it round Pin it round. So I'm going to sew it together. Then I will join it. So I've joined the this is it so now I'm going to fold it this way inside fold inside so I'm going to fold it with half an inch half an inch fold then put it and I'm going to top stitch it around I can use my pin to hold it around Hold it with pin, then I'm going to toss, top stitch it around. Then I'll leave a bit of space where I can fit in the elastic. So, as you can see, I've done the top stitching round. So, I've left this side open we are going to put the the elastic 
So this is the elastic I'm going to use. The person's waist is um, 25 and a half, but I'm using um, elastic 23 and a half so that I will be able to grab the person's waist. So we're going to put the to put the elastic in through this hole. So now I'm going to stitch this one. I'm going to top stitch it the elastic. So I've top stitched the elastic. I'm going to pull it out now. This is it. So I'm going to close this place up. Then for here, this place, I cut this out. It's like a bias, but I use the fabric to cut it out. So I have a one and a half an inch. I'm going to top stitch it on top of here this way going to place it this way then top stitch it around then fold it back and make a top stitch around it so this is the skirt Done the stitching on as you can see. It's the stitching. That's it. So thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.